Have you ever heard the saying, the next 10 sales are in your database? Well, I have, and I didn't understand the value of a database for many years in real estate. So in this video, I'm gonna break down why a database is value and show you your blind spots and probably what you're not doing in your current database uh, as a real estate agent. But hey, my name's Chad Leonberg, and I'm a real estate coach and digital marketer in the real estate space. And if you're interested in how our Shark Partner Program can provide coaching, marketing, all kinds of templates and done for you strategies to build your six figure business in the real estate space while achieving the life you want, shoot me a message at the contact info below. So your database, first and foremost, is your database your entire database? Look at your current CRM. Is all of your phone contacts uploaded in there? Is all of the emails that you have maybe from Facebook or wherever, any other social media sources you can think of in there? Is all of your past leads from all sources in there? Like even if it's just a Google Sheet or a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, get all, every single human being you know in there and segment them, tag them or something, or put an identifier of somebody I met in high school, my spouse's friend, somebody I met uh, at my adult hockey league, whatever it is, right? Segment your database, uh, maybe it's vendors even, you know, your lenders and title companies and stuff like that. They could be great referral sources. And a, a database in a CRM, the CRM is a tool for you to help humanly connect with that database. So if you are not pulling sales out of your database, guess what? You're not humanly, you're not connecting with the human beings in the database. So one of the easiest ways to do that is email. Everybody, you know, auto emails their database or sends out some standardized newsletter. No, you need to email your database as a human being, track who opens them and make a phone call and have a conversation with the people who open the email. It's a simple concept. And I can tell you once we started implementing it, we realized how much value was in our database. The fact of the matter is, is most real estate agents just look for the next lead, the next low hanging fruit, the next, instead of shaking that piggy bank and maximizing every penny of every human being they have in their database. And how you do that is not some cookie cutter automated way or some um, standardized newsletter that doesn't really you know, speak to anybody. It just shows you're going through the motions because you want to sell homes. Maybe if you actually email them like a human being and speak with you and talk about local happenings, talk about local pizza shops, talk about your opinion of the local theme park or the local parks or, or, or just, you know, speak to them as a human being, you'll actually have real conversations with the human beings when they're listening to you or reading your email, you know, or whatever way it is, and they'll want to talk with you. They'll see you as a person, not as a salesperson. So your database, it's the, you simply, if you're not converting from it, you don't have mind share in it. And that is why email, texting, events, these are the ways that you will t connect with your database and then calling the people who are interacting with your stuff, who are responding to your emails or texts, who are opening them, if you're tracking the open rates and the clicks and the stuff like that. One other way you can really build mind share with your database is building an on-platform audience on Facebook, on Instagram, on you name it, off platform. So if you have a good social media post and you don't have much traction on it, if you take that post, screenshot it, put it in the email and when they click it or put a button that links to your post that, so you know, the picture click it links there or the button click it links there, you will be able to build an on-platform audience off platform because there might be a lot of people that, in your database that have Facebook but aren't friends with you or you're not coming up in their feed because they don't regularly interact with you and they don't comment or like anything on Facebook as much. So Facebook doesn't know to show you their stuff or your stuff because they haven't interacted with yours. So if you send them the link and they click it, Facebook sees that they viewed your individual post and then Facebook will put your future posts in front of them. So it's uh, email is a total hack and even texting the link to your recent post is a total hack to build an on-platform audience off platform. So if that's not something you're doing, I highly recommend that. Events are another thing that can really you know, shake the bushes in your database. If you're running live local events or even virtual like webinar style or just info sessions for local happenings and being seen, you know, this shouldn't just always be about real estate and how to get your credit score up and how to this. This should be about, you know, the local parks and the top pizza shops and um, the, this living in this area. What's construction like over here? Educational and informational uh, events for your audience. Um, so if you do those frequently, they're gonna, you're gonna be seen as the kind of expert or the go-to person in your market. And it's also something to talk about when you text, when you call, when you email, 
the people in your database. You can reference an upcoming event you're doing. So run free events that provide value, that provide information, and that educate the people in your local uh, marketplace. So ultimately, the next 10 sales are in your database. And agents I constantly watch, they think they need new leads, new leads, new leads, and they get stuck in this never-ending cycle of new leads and low-hanging fruits. And they build up and build up and build up this database that is very, very valuable, maybe even millions of dollars in some people's databases that they're totally ignoring because they're just waiting for the next phone call, the next low hanging fruit. So my advice to you is don't wait as many years as I did in the business to figure out the value of your database. Go get it uploaded, get everybody in there, start taking action, provide value to the database uh, and be seen, win the mind share, be the local go-to expert for your database. But anyway, I hope this video was valuable for you. Hopefully it gave you an unlock earlier in your real estate career than I got. Uh, if you found it valuable or get, you know wanted to just give us a like and a subscribe, we'd much appreciate it for the channel. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you at the top.